Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Idle Zeros. As you can see, I've got an SFX account on my hands. Uh, this is not mine. This is actually somebody who was on my server. Uh, he quit a long time ago, but we uh, just recently asked if we could get his account uh, to play for ourselves. Um, and he was gracious enough to allow us to do so. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit weird because it's an SFX account. <clears throat> However, uh, this might seem a little bit less weird if I tell you that this account was established almost a year ago, if not a little bit more, uh, back when the SFX route was actually common, and it was the one that was um, spoken about on the YouTubes as the recommended route. So basically what we're doing here is I'm presenting SFX uh, to you all uh, before we begin to slander her. Because the purpose of today's video is actually to turn this account into an SFX account. I mean, to swap it from an SFX account into an LFA account. Uh, because I am of the opinion that LFA is much superior as a main carry than SFX is. And in fact, I'm sure a lot of you uh, feel that way. Um, at least I hope so. Uh, but so basically what we're doing is we'll clear a few stages with SFX before she's hard stuck. And as you can see, we have a B copy of SFX. We have three Transcendence Heroes and we're stuck on 135. So yeah, that's uh, that's my concern as, uh, as an SFX user. Um, she doesn't seem particularly powerful. Uh, she might be fine if we can establish like full sublimations on her, but we uh, we're not able to do so. So oh well, it only makes sense with limited sublimation, limited resources that we swap to an LFA main. Uh, it seems like much stronger of an approach. Um, but yeah, so basically, I'll just be showing you a few clips before and after I decide to transition the account, um, just to demonstrate the difference between LFA main carry and SFX main carry. And frankly, the difference is kind of night and day. Um, it's a little bit sad that we needed to wait for full hollow buffs to make this kind of progress in campaign. I feel as though progress would be much better if we had good copies of LFA, SQH, and PDE. Uh, PDE, by the way, we still don't have uh, because as I said, this account went unloved for several months. Um, he was actually like the first whale on the server, like the, uh, the leaderboards for tower and stuff. He's still on top of it because those are gated by like time. And so the first person to clear, even though there might not be the strongest on the server anymore, they're still number one on that leaderboard. Uh, but yeah, he was the first person to clear a lot of game modes on our server. So that's quite cool that we were able to revive this account again. Um, he made some questionable decisions. Um, for example, we have 13 Augustus Magic Balls um, and not one Golden Crown. <laughs> so that's a little bit concerning there, but at least we got some uh, <laughs> we can block sufficiently um, if we if that were, uh, were our desire. Uh, so that's interesting, I suppose. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? We will do with what we have, what we can. Uh, and so basically what we can do is we will push this all the way up until the first mim wave of the campaign, the LFA boss wave, LFA two mims, two Garudas, at which point we will begin our transition to our LFA account. Um, I'm, I have a lot of footage, so I'm just going to be skipping through a lot of it, and you'll be able to watch that because I'm not going to take the time to edit it. Um, you know the whole deal by now, the whole I'm too lazy bit, um, except it's not a bit. I'm just too lazy to do it, so <laughs> hopefully you don't mind too much. SFX and LFA, uh, as much as I do like to talk trash on SFX, um, it really is a cool system that they have going on here. Uh, SFX and LFA working together. Uh, the Mockman route would be quite strong if LFA were attended for SSM. 
uh, because we would basically have the same thing. SSM gets a kill round one, everybody gets feared, which is basically how it works now, except LFA doesn't give him tenant stats. Um, whereas LFA will give SFX tenant stats. So that's quite cool how that works out. Um, but sadly, the, the, uh, the kit that SFX has, um, not being able to bring Drake and Rogans into Void Campaign, it's just not going to work out. Um, yeah, so now that we're on this stage, I'm just going to swipe. I'll show you a few more attempts here. Um, don't mind me. I've tried to record this video multiple times uh, just because of how many attempts it was taking to do the campaign stage. Um, but since we couldn't do it, I just decided that that was the right point at which I should do the transition. Um, all this screen swiping is me filling the screen with movement while I'm doing the intro. But we'll do a few more attempts here and then we will commence the stuff. There's me, um, just to show that it's the same server. Well, I'm not going to necessarily show the same server, but it's the same server bracket, at least. So that's cool. Um, but it is the same server. Server 1449, if you're interested in joining and talking to me, um, you can do that if you wish. But uh, yeah, like I said, the wave's not possible for us. We couldn't do it. But you know who it was possible for? Spoiling it a little bit, it was possible for LFA as the main homeowner, which is a little bit sad because this SFX is a B copy. Um, the LFA is also a B copy, so that's not the sad part. But the sad part is that B copy LFA is a tenant for SFX, so that's some extra stats right there. Whereas we have an E copy queen to use as a tenant for LFA, and the C plus Asmodel the Dauntless, of course, carries over, but we'll be swapping that to an Elena. Uh, we sadly only have two Elena copies on the account, so we need seven more of those before we can actually do that, since we'll want her to be E5, obviously. Uh, I saved 45k active sublimation, uh, so that we can sublime the first node on PDE's active skill, because if you don't know, this is my opinion, of course, it's not accepted as fact, um, but in my opinion, the sublimation priority of PDE goes... 45k into the active, so just one fourth of that branch, then all of P2, then the rest of active skill. That is my opinion. I think the first upgrade on the active skill is crucial for all PDE users, more so than the second branch, or rather the branch of uh, passive skill too. But this is just me rambling at this point. Uh, I'm hoping I don't do this too many more times uh, because I'd like to get onto the actual content. But looks like we're gonna have to skip through. So we'll do that. Ta-da, here we go, there we go. We moved on to the part. I remove SFX from her home. I remove her from the arena. Because of course as well as her tenants and Asmodel the Dauntless and Drake and Eloise, even though I don't touch most of them. But here we go. I check there to see if I have 40 soul symbols, which I do. Um, there's our Asmodel the Dauntless, 2.9k attack on the Awaken. There are our soul symbols, and the contract starry gems, which I'm saving up for because I would like to buy a B copy um, of, well, not buy a B copy, use them to get a B stone that I can use on either SQH or PDE, I'm undecided. And in fact, you'll see that I changed my mind on saving them later on because I decided to get hammers for LFA. I forget Star Arena, it says SFX is in Star Arena, which, You'll soon see that she actually isn't. Yep, no one's in Star Arena, actually. So the game lied. The game lied to me. But that's cool. I throw Drake in there, just in case. But moving along to the Evolution Cube, we convert. We are converting this SFX into a Scarlet Queen Halora. There it goes. All the sublimation gets removed. LFA can now be T5'd. 
which is what we do here. So, yeah, uh, actually, what we could what we could do is I could do uh, not skip the rest of this video because what I do is I actually make you watch me finding resonance gear for SQH <laughs> and for uh, PDE. Um, and that that that's probably like a 10 minute chunk. <laughs> so we could do that. If I come up with enough things to talk about, I probably won't. But that would be funny. Um, depending on who you ask, I suppose. Some people might think it's just terrible video making, which I would also be inclined to agree with, but it is what it is. Subliming active in P2, not because P2 is the one you want to prioritize, but because I just had the subs. Um, so what I can do actually is when I get PDE, I can just regress LFA. We'll do some glory challenges. Um, I think we could do those. I'll we'll have enough stellar at that time to be able to do that. And then I'll, I'll slap, uh, I'll slap P2 onto PDE and I'll likely go, that was an accident. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the rest of the video. Uh, it shouldn't, but we'll skip through this a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Da 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 da. Upgrading SQH. I regress the SFX or just the regular SIA at that point so that we can upgrade SQH to E5 and beyond. We take her to T2, I believe, uh, so that we can sublime her active skill whenever it is prepared. But moving on, because this is taking forever. Sorry, 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 sorry. Avert your eyes if you are prone to seizing. Uh, here I am searching for the attack, attack stone. It takes a while, so we'll skip. Da 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 da. -da. Moving on. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Continuing, continuing. Sorry, terrible video. I know, I know. Oh look, here's the uh, here's the resonance gear part. <laughs> so it, it takes 75 swaps exactly uh, to do the whole set, and then it takes like 25 exactly to do PDEs, which we can actually watch because it's pretty cool how lucky I get here. So we'll go into the hero resonance screen, and then we'll see. I have PDE on one of them. I have PDE on two of them already, straight from the start. So we go into the all damage dealt one now. And we can begin converting. There's two. There's three. There's four. And here comes PDE. There's five. There she is. Okay, moving on. And then this takes 20. So uh, we can sit through that because I'm not going to do any more scrubbing for now. But it is what it is. Uh, basically, so this account is stuck on Vanquisher in Vortex. Vanquisher. Uh, so that'll be fun to test out how we can do there. I suspect we'll be able to clear into Dominator. Maybe? I think this LFA has like a 2 million attack which is concerningly low, I'll be frank, it is rather low for a, uh, a three trans account. I think, I think my Mockman account, or the Mockman account, I won't say it's mine because it's not, it's, uh, it's a, I guess it's a project account with three people. Um, oh, I guess that's the end of the video. So moving on. Here I am doing some upgrading. I take the SFX skin, turning it into the LFA skin. So there we go, put in the penny skin because we don't need that. But there we go, there's evil Santa, ready to take names. 2.2 million attack. So it's not wonderful, but It'll get the job done, I suppose. There's the Awaken. Uh, I decide to 
change it. Precision holy damage we decided to keep. Um, and that leaves us 10 hammers for SF for uh, PDE and for SQH. But as you can see now, that was child's play for an SFX account that couldn't do anything. Uh, moving along, one, four, two now, the next problematic stage. Uh, as you can see here, not going spectacularly well but it works out in the end, I promise. Uh, but I figure this will be a nice little free to play in quotes account. Um, Cause obviously it's a VIP nine, but the spending was very misguided in my opinion. Um, so we have a B copy of a main hero, which is perfectly achievable free to play at this point. Um, we don't have many sublimations, we have like a full branch on active skill and a full bland, full branch on P2 um, also should be achievable free to play at this point, at the point at which you'd have three transcendence heroes. Uh, and the best part for all you free to play players, um, no treasure train whatsoever. Zero. Uh, except for like a few guild tokens. I did like 20 polls and that was it basically. So this will be a nice little case study in free-to-play Lord of Fear Aspen progress. Uh, maybe. I could be mistaken. But like I said, there's no golden crowns. There's no... We have three AMBs, three splendid AMBs, so that's cool. Um, one Demon Bell, one Rui Scepter. Quite confusing there. But uh, that's going to be it for the account um, for now. But you can all have a good one. Um, let me know if you're interested in this account. Um, I kind of am, because it's like a nice counterexample to my whale account, which is also an LFA main, but that'll be that. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day, everybody.